Hi, I'm Donna Parteau. Welcome to a 90-day jumpstart to a new you. Together with at least a thousand women from all over the world, you are about to begin an exciting adventure with God. Together, we're going to be studying my latest book, Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be, a 90-day guide to living the Proverbs 31 life. The book is filled with inspiration and more importantly practical application that looks at the Proverbs 31 woman, this ancient text, but from a very contemporary perspective. Before we begin, I want to give you an overview of what you can hope to accomplish in the next 90 days, but before I do, you have to make me a promise. Now in our house, we have something we call the pinky promise, and that is the most solemn of all. I want you to promise me that you will not run ahead of the group because if you do, you're going to get weary, you're going to get discouraged, and you're going to drop out of the race. And I don't want that to happen. Believe me, each day of this program has enough challenge of its own. Do not run ahead. Stay with the group. We're going to take it one day at a time, and we're going to make it to that finish line. Trust me, I've run a marathon before. That's 26 miles, and I learned the hard way. If you run too fast, you drop out of the race. Okay, so let's stick together. Deal? Deal. One final thing. Even though I am your online teacher for the next 90 days, don't ever forget the Holy Spirit is your real teacher. He is your counselor. He is the one who's going to come alongside of you and customize this class for you. So please don't compare yourself to any other women in the study. The Holy Spirit is going to show you specific areas in your life where you really need to focus. One woman might need to really focus on her personal appearance and fitness. The Holy Spirit might instruct you to work on getting your house in order. Yet another woman, God may speak to her heart and say, now is the time to begin to pursue that dream that you have of starting your own home business. So let God personalize the journey for you. Okay, with all that in mind, we're ready for an overview of the next 90 days. Week one, we're gonna begin with basic faith foundations. And one of the things that you're gonna to need to do during the very first week is establish a prayer place. That's your sacred space where you're gonna meet with God. We're actually gonna have a separate video with more instructions on how you're gonna do that. But that will be your big priority. And so even now you can begin looking around your house for a, a spare room or just a little corner that you can carve out for you to meet with God. Week two, we're gonna um, pursue godly habits and our focus is gonna be on developing our prayer life and learning to listen for God. Week three, healthy eating habits. We're gonna do a very basic dietary cleanse and I'm gonna challenge you with the Daniel diet. That's 10 days of water and vegetables. Don't have a heart attack, just do the best you can with it. Week four, we're gonna talk about strengthening our body. And this is something where you might wanna to begin to pray and think because at that point, I'm gonna encourage you to find a walking partner. So pray now and ask God to show you one woman in your life who'd love fellowship, fitness, and even a prayer partner. And maybe three to five days, you'll begin working together. We're gonna to get to that on week four. Week five, we're gonna look at self-management tools, and you might wanna begin looking around for some storage bins. That's something that you'll need. Week six, we'll examine your personal finances and some strategies for getting those in order. Then week seven, fashion. We are going to make your closet a lean, mean fashion machine. We are gonna get rid, I'm not gonna tell you to go buy anything new. I'm gonna tell you to get rid of all the stuff that's cluttering up your closet that you never wear or shouldn't wear. Week eight, we're gonna talk about making extra money from home and we're gonna bring in some special guests uh, that week on the radio show to give you some great ideas. Week nine, we're gonna talk about household management and the big secret here, begin looking around your house and all the stuff that you're gonna get rid of. You can cut your cleaning time in half if you get rid of half the junk that's just cluttering up the place. Week 10, family relationships, we're gonna uh, look at some family traditions and especially thinking about ways that you can make Sunday special. So you might begin thinking about what your Sundays look like now. I know about Sunday mornings, don't feel bad. Ours is the same way. But ways that you can make maybe Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening a special time for you and your family. 
Week 11, we're going to talk about the ministry of the home. Begin praying right now at how you can begin practicing more hospitality and especially inviting God's servants, ministers, and missionaries into your home as an inspiration to your children. Week 12, we're going to talk about retirement planning, getting your legal and financial affairs in order, and then we'll have a wrap up during week 13. So that's kind of an overview. There are three things that you're going to need if you're going to get the most out of this 90 day jumpstart to a new you. First, you need a copy of my book, Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be. And remember, if you order it from my website, DonnaParto.com, we will enter you to win a $100 gift card from Target. The second thing that you're going to need is a personal notebook. And I'm, I've actually prepared a separate video that you, can, uh, that you can view with instructions on how you can put together your own personal notebook. There's also information about that on the book. And then the third thing that you're going to need is to be a member of Facebook.com. If you haven't done that yet, we've prepared a separate video with instructions on how you can do it. Uh, Actually, the easiest way is just to find someone under 25 and in no time at all, they'll have you set up. So those are the three things that you're going to need. This first week of your journey, I want you to just focus on setting aside time with God and making it first, first thing in the morning before you do anything else. And if that means you've got to set your alarm for 30 minutes earlier, so be it. That's going to be your priority. And hopefully, if you do that every day for the next 90 days, it will become a lifelong habit. During that time alone with God, what we call tag time, you'll begin by reading the book, Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be, and your scripture passage for the day is actually included there along with a scripture-based prayer, a scripture-based affirmation, your scripture memory verse, and some practical application. So that's all right there in your book. If after you've done your reading in Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be, you still have some time left, you can spend that in additional prayer or additional Bible reading, but I want you to get into the habit this first week of spending at least 30 minutes of tag time, time alone with God. Week one, I also want you to focus on memorizing, starting to memorize Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 31. To make it easier, there's a couple things that I've done for you. Each day I include just a small portion of the passage in your daily reading and over the course of the 90 days we'll conquer more and more of the verse and we'll tackle it in a cumulative fashion. Also in the back of the book you'll find scripture memory cards that you can cut out and carry with you wherever you go and I've already heard from some women who are decorating those with scrapbook embellishments and and making it a really fun thing. Also, I've recorded an MP3 set to really nice background music that you can download from my website, DonnaParto.com, that has the entire passage. You can put that on your iPod or MP3 player and begin listening to it every day as you go on your walk or as you do your housework, and it's going to make it easy for you to memorize this entire passage. This is going to be a big accomplishment for a lot of us women who've never tackled a passage of that length before, but I know that you can do it. One last thing, be sure to join us on our weekly radio program. It airs 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you are not available during that time slot, we're going to record it and we'll put it up on the internet for you to view at your convenience. Until next week, I'm praying that God will lead you forward by leaps and bounds on your journey to becoming the woman that God wants you to be. God bless you.